totally just noticed my eyebrows are out of place. Can't have that happy now, can we? Hey guys, it's Chelsea. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a favorites video. It's March favorites and what, what? March is over, I'm so glad. I'm probably not at the same type of schedule as you. I'm on a countdown until July, end of July, when my family will be reunited. Looking forward to that day. So every time a month goes by, I'm like, yes. But I'm also really glad spring is here because I'm so over winter. Even though I'm wearing a sweater today, but it's it's chilly out today. It's like 40 something with, eh, it's sunny out, but you know, I'm just over the cold stuff. So let's just jump into my favorites. This month, serious hardcore favorites, things I literally have been using every day. So first thing, uh, because it's spring, and I don't know why I keep pointing out the window, but it's a beautiful view of a blue sky. Um, I've been self tanning and I need to have some color before we bear this porcelain skin to the world, especially shorts. So one of the things that you need to do when you self tan is to make sure you are moisturizing your skin so that your tan lasts longer. And to do that, I have been using this um, Everyday Coconut Super Hydrating Body Lotion for normal to dry skin. Paraben free, no animal testing, no synthetic fragrance, gluten free. Essentially, I got this big daddy lotion <laughs> off of Vitacost. I will link my Vitacost haul below, the haul that I got this. I'm obsessed with Vitacost. I also have a link below if you want to save some money on your first purchase. So, who doesn't want to do that? I totally took advantage of that too. Anyways, this is great. It does have a very faint coconut smell, but it's not, since it's not perfumey, it's a really refreshing, fresh, light coconut smell. And I don't know about you, but I do not like my body lotions to be overly perfumed or just perfumey in general, because I don't want them to compete with the perfume that I'm gonna be putting on during the day. I want it to be hydrating, which this is. I want it to be long lasting. Um, I am drier skinned and in the climate I live in it's dry and then you throw in like self tanning on top of all that you just need moisture so loving this um, I think it was really inexpensive too for this 32 ounces like that's huge um, great option too if you have kids because um, it's not overly perfuming it actually will moisturize their skin and I like that better than like say Johnson & Johnson's lotions another lotion that I've been using to help prolong wear Prolong wear? No, that's MAC. To prolong the wear of your self tan um, in between actually like going through the whole process of self tanning, which is pretty in depth. Um, I've been using this Banana Boat Summer Color. It's a self tanner. This is for light to medium skin. And this is like another self tanner, but it's just, it's kind of like one of those things that's quick to apply. You do have to be careful to, you know, make sure you blend it all in and everything. But it says it's streak free, and I found it is pretty streak free. Um, I prefer the darker one though. This is the light to medium color. I think someone gave this to me to use up, which I'll definitely use it up because it gives you color. But I think I like the richer tone of the dark skinned one better than the light to medium one, even though I am pretty fair naturally. Um, this works great. This is one of the better drugstore ones that I've found, and I've tried a couple and just hated them. This is inexpensive too. I think it's like, I don't know, I haven't bought it for a while, but I think it was around like seven, six, seven, eight dollars somewhere in that area. Um, but I like it. I really like to put this on like the areas like my arms or my legs in between just to kind of add that color back in. And it's moisturizing and, you know, it just helps lengthen your color so you don't have to you know, do the whole shebang 15 times in a week. All right, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is um, skincare. This is the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. It smells like roses. So if you love roses, you're gonna love this. If you don't like roses, I'd still give it a try because what it is is it just helps give you your face a little rejuvenation. I love to spray this on my face at nighttime before I go to bed. It just gives your skin that extra boost of moisture. It, it's really relaxing to have like a cool spray on your face. Um, so I keep this by my bedside. Um, you can use this anytime. You can use it as a refresher spray for your skin if you wanted to. I'd spray it on my face, but then I'd have like wet face and then I'd look like a hot mess if someone was just joining at minute, you know, like four. <laughs> um, 
So I really like this stuff. It's just refreshing. I've been spraying it on my face quite a bit. As you can see, I'm almost out of it. I definitely will be buying another one of these because I just, I just like those types of things. Anything to relax me before bed, whether it be a cup of tea or some sort of facial spray or some sort of like all over lotion treatment or a massage, you know, stuff like that. I, I, I really like these types of things. So it's kind of like one of those luxurious type items, you know, even though it's not expensive. It's like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something like that. Okay, what should we do next? Next, let's talk about um, hair. Yeah, my hair's not amazing. Probably because I don't know how to style it. Like, I curled it this morning with a wand. Can you even tell? I actually curled it like three times. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I uh, have brighter hair. Anyways, um, one thing I've been loving doing I use when, and I do talk about that from time to time. At some point, let me know below if you guys are interested in a when hair care video or a video all about when, because that is what I use and I have been using for the past almost two years. I, ha I don't use lathering shampoos. I don't use like typical shampoos. I use what's called when, a cleansing conditioner. But this is the Sweet Almond Mint Smo Smoothing Glossing Serum. And essentially what this is, is when I get out of the shower and my hair is still wet, I take a couple pumps of this, which smells amazing. It's called Sweet Almond Mint. And this is not, it has no fragrance. It's nothing synthetic. It's all natural essential oils. It smells like mint and almonds clashed together and had a baby. Oh, it's so calming and relaxing. It smells amazing. I put it through my hands and I just, you know, comb it through from you know, like here down to my roots. And it just smooths out your hair. It gives it extra like moisture. You can also use it on dry hair. Like I, I'll take like a pump of this and you don't need very much because a little bit goes a long way. It's like clear. And I'll rub it through my hands. And like during the day, if my hair is looking a little frizzy or if I have some flyaways, you can just kind of comb it through your hair. It also gives it just a little bit of a shine. And now my hair smells amazing. Like I want to lick it or eat it or something. <laughs> It's, it's kind of like one of those aromatherapy type smells, just a really natural, organic smelling smell, not like a, I hate to say it, but like a Bath and Body Works type artificial type of smell, you know what I mean, where they try to make, make it with perfumes. This is the real deal. So I love this stuff. I get mine off of QVC. I think I bought it in a duo and it lasts a long time. Um, really like this stuff, especially the smell. Okay, now. The next thing that I've been loving and using on my body and in the air, um, I also purchased these off of Vitacost, are these Zum Mists. They are aromatherapy room and body mists. And this one is lavender. I, ugh, lavender before bed, oh, it's such a relaxing thing, right? We all know that. But I put this on my body and you can also use it in the air. And because these are like oil based, um, you have to shake them up because they, or I should have showed you, crap. Well, you can kind of see, see how the oil sits on top and then you have to like shake it to mix it up. But that's the key in the long lasting power of these. I spray these in the air and I, I can smell it as if I just sprayed it hours later in my house. And I have lots of things that smell like, like I have the Bath and Body Works things and I have animals and I have dirty kids that smell and dirty husbands and you know, but things that smell good, I have a lot of smelly things and I can spray this in the air and I kid you not, like four or five, six hours later, I still smell this linger in the air. Um, these are, here's, here's the ingredients, purified water, pure essential oils and vegetable glycerin. That's it. So they're good for the environment. They're good for your you to breathe in, it's not like, you know, the cheapy stuff you buy at Walmart and you spray it and... I always refer to it as, this might be TMI, but poopy flower spray. Um, because you usually spray these types of things, you know. And then it just smells like poopy flowers. But this actually smells good and it gets rid of the smell. So, lavender and sea salt. This one is so yummy. Um, let's see if I can describe this. This is... It says, submerge into the fresh sea air with a splash of citrus. It is very citrusy. But it has that, like, sea, like, saltiness a little bit to it, too. It's really, really nice. I like both of these a lot. So, um, if you like body mist and if you like aromatherapy smells in your house for, like, a room freshener, 
Love these. They're very long lasting and they have several other scents. I also have one called Frankincense and Myrrh, but I've really been using these two the most. All right. Let's just take a moment of silence for this next item because I have found what may be my Holy Grail foundation. Yep, I've used it in a few videos and I've talked about it in my Friday Favorites. It is the YSL Touche Eclat. I need an accent to say that. Illuminating foundation. It is Dimensional Radiance Weightless Perfection SPF 19. I'm in the shade B40. Oh my goodness. Look at the packaging. I'm a sucker for anything gold. I just think it's beautiful. Um, the, the finish is so radiant. It looks like your skin, but it, it, it covers up all your imperfections. It evens your skin tone. It leaves the finish of like, oh, I just think of like those photo shoots of like the Victoria's Secret models where their, their skin's like all glowy and dewy and that's what this looks like. And if this can make me look like a Victoria's Secret model, I need like 15 backups. <laughs> I love this stuff. It is not an inexpensive foundation. However, I am a firm believer in investing in foundation. A, because foundation is your base. B, it's your canvas, and before you put co color on your face, you want your canvas to be flawless, because otherwise it's gonna be like muddy and messy and just not look flawless and perfected and, I don't know. You can walk out the door with just this foundation on and just a tiny little bit of blush and you look fabulous. I mean, this foundation is amazing. I love it. I'm not going to talk about it too long because I could probably make an entire video on it. But um, I have um, used it in a few tutorials and I, this month, so let's see, my spring tutorial I used it in. Love this. I have been stuck on this foundation, so until another one comes my way that sweeps me off my feet, right now, this is my Prince Charming. Love it. Next thing, another, but this is on the opposite end of the spectrum. This is a product that has completely changed my contouring and sculpting. I can't stop using this. Um, it's the L'Oreal True Match Concealer Stick in the shade N678. It is a concealer not the right shade, but I use it for contouring. And you just twist this sucker up like that, and then you draw on your contour. Love it. Then I blend it out with a dry beauty blender. I love the buffing action that you can get from the beauty blender being dry versus using, say, a brush or using this wet. If you use this wet, it kind of shears this product out. And when I'm using this, I'm doing it for the sole purpose of really getting a defined contour. Um, I love to use this after I put on my foundation. Before any powder touches your face, I do all my wet products. So I do my foundation, my primer, my concealer, my highlighter, like I'm doing like a, you know, liquid highlighter, and this. And I buff this out with this beauty blender. And I'm telling you what, if you go back on top of that after setting it with powder with a powdered bronzer, you have such a defined sculpted look. It's amazing. You could also just use this on its own and forget the whole powder bronzer thing. Um, especially coming up in the summer, you know, when you're going to be sweating and all that. I just love this. Like, once again, I could talk about this for 10 minutes, but we're going to move on. Another product that, it was in my products to use up video, and I neglected it for a long time. I wasn't sure if I liked it or not, or if I, quite frankly, needed it. But it's the CoverGirl in Olay Ageless, Simply Ageless, Eye Corrector number 230. It's a corrector, so it's yellow base. So I don't have... A lot of natural darkness under my eyes but this prior to putting on your foundation for me has proven to be amazing <laughs> it covers any darkness I have if a lack of sleep bags you know stuff like that but it also somehow like illuminates under the eye I don't know if it's because of the contrast between my skin color and my foundation or what but I'm really liking this I don't like it on top of foundation because it gets cakey for me uh, my area under here is starting to get wrinkly. I know for some of my older subscribers, you're like, what? No, in real life, for real, it, it is. It's not like it was in my young 20s or when I was a teenager. Things have changed. So I really have been enjoying this prior to foundation. My last item is Simply Gorgeous. Everyone needs to go out and pick this up. I have been using this in a lot of my tutorials this past March as well because it is so on trend for spring. It is none other than 
the Maybelline Vivid in Vibrant Mandarin. Like, just look at that. Doesn't that just say, like, happiness? Like, look at my lips, I'm gorgeous? Because, what's up with my hair? Do you ever notice I play with my bangs a lot? Yes, I hate that I do, but I wish it was just, like, stay <laughs> how I want it to. It's like they fall in my face. Anyways, totally sidetracked, but you're getting a taste of me. I, I start on one tangent, and then I end up over here, but somehow we get back to the lipstick. I love this. I absolutely love this shade. It's so gorgeous. These Maybelline Vivids smell like Play-Doh, and I say that every time, but I can't help it. They smell like Play-Doh. Look at that. It's so pretty, you guys. You need to go out and pick up this lipstick. If you are afraid of bright lips, just give it a try. If anything, it was $5 and you can bring it back because you didn't like it or give it to a friend. But I love this. It just brightens up your complexion. It just brings the color out in your eyes. I don't care what color eyes you have. You can wear this shade. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. I told you it's called Vibrant Mandarin. It's by Maybelline. It smells like Play-Doh if you like smells. Hey, it's better than the L'Oreal lipsticks. They smell like perfume, like white diamonds, old lady perfume. Sorry if anybody, any of you like that perfume, but to me, they just need to take that perfume off the market. I don't know one person I've ever met in my life that likes that perfume. Maybe I will be proven wrong. <laughs> so, those are all of my March favorites, things I have been using constantly and in love with. Let me know down below what you guys have been loving. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me. My name is C. Gary. I post all kinds of pictures. Um, I did post a note on there. I want to know what you guys want to see. I am here for you guys. I want to make videos that you want to watch. Like, I have ideas and I have things planned, but I also want to know what my viewers specifically want to see from me. Because, after all, I am here for you guys. So, let me know down below what it is you want to see. Follow me on Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to continue to see monthly favorites. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have none other than a fabulous day.